It's 2.04 in the morning, and I regret ever even conceiving of the idea for this video. First up, what we're going to do is we are going to be using this fancy hand-drawn chart that I made and we're going to be doing a test every hour on the hour of both the 120 gallon and the 24 gallon reef tank and then in between the hourly tests we're going to play a little game. So I've compiled a list of things from around the house, from around the neighborhood. So here's how you can play along. You can just pause this video right now, take a screenshot and print out this game board or you can just go to my blog below and I'll put a PDF version that, that you can print out. And you are gonna guess in this column here to the nearest tenth, so 8.1, 7.9, what you think the pH of that item will be. Then when we test it, we're gonna put the answer over here. You're gonna score three points if you're exactly right, two points if you're off by a tenth, one point if you're off by two tenths, and zero points if you're three tenths of a percentage off. When we're completely done with the game, you're gonna total your points up right here, and then you're gonna leave a comment down below with your total points, and the winner or winners are gonna get some stickers from me, anywhere in the world. I'll send them anywhere in the world. I'll send you some stickers if you win, so be honest, okay, be honest. And before you decide to leave some sort of angry comment down below about how this pH checker is only designed for salt water, so all the other things I'm testing aren't accurate, I know, we're just trying to have some fun. Well, this is pretty boring so far. It's gone up and it's gone down and it's gone up and down. I think it's probably time to go outside and around the community and test some of the random stuff. So get your game board ready. Enough of this for now, let's get back to the other testing and see how the tanks are doing. Well, it's 7 p.m. Here is the graph so far. The blue line is the 120 gallon tank. The red, maroon, whatever you want to call that is the 24 gallon. You can see a little bit in the morning, there were some, some highs and lows, you know, definitely a little bit lower in the morning for both the 120 gallon and the 24 gallon, but it really does even out both the tanks here. I mean, you can see the, the blue line, which is 120 gallon, had several hours of exactly the same, and what is that at, 8.3. The red, the 24 gallon's gone up and down a bit more, but really it's been within 0.1, so really pretty accurate. I've only done about half of the around the community games. Let's go finish those up real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
An entire day with the Hannah Checker, I've tested it over 50 times. It works really well. So the only problem with this bottle, oftentimes you screw it on tight and then there's a little rubber piece inside that needs to stay in the bottle and sometimes it gets stuck on the top. Oh, there, see it did it. See that, look, oh wait, how am I supposed to get accurate drops when it sticks into the top? And this is, this is sort of a, a pain to get out. It, it doesn't just like come out like, and now I'm getting like reagent on my hand from trying to pull it out. So you have to like get your finger in there. Oh my goodness. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, see right here. This little piece should not be coming out of the bottle. This goes back in here. Just don't screw it on quite as hard as I did and you'll be fine. You're gonna get a lot of tests for 50 bucks. This is gonna give you a more accurate result. I'll come back at it tomorrow with the overall results of the entire day, newsflash, it didn't really change that much. But stick around till tomorrow morning. Okay, add them up. Here's the answers. Put your result down below, and maybe I'll send you some stickers. Next morning, final check-in here. Here's the graph. Not too much exciting to report. I did wake up at 2 o'clock, but I didn't put it on the graph. It was 8.2. If you look here, the only weird thing, if you look in the morning when I started at 8 a.m., both tanks had a pretty low pH for this graph. It was still at, what, 8.0? Midday, you definitely see some trends here where it evens out. You know, you're, you're definitely more in the 8.3, 8.4 range. And then in the evening time, what time was it? 8 p.m., I had this weird spike. And I can't explain it because both tanks spiked to actually above 8.6. But it was just for that one hour and then they went back down again. But there it is. The entire day's test using the Hannah pH checker.